Hello, welcome to another EVE 101 video, and this I'll be going over the basic setup of the drones of the different races. Each drone is split up, each drone group is split up into different subgroups. The dr different drones start off as light scouts, medium, heavy, and the, in the and then you get the sentry drones. Each one of those is split up racially between the Amar, Kaldare, Galente, and Minmatar. In this, I'll be going over just the light drone since it gives a basic base setup of what each one's going to be like, sort of of what they're the top of and what they're the worst at. So starting off here is the Acolyte 1. This is the Amar drone. Getting a little better view, that's what they're going to basically be looking like, and they're just, and when it goes into the medium and the large, they just sort of get bigger and a little bit more complex. Starting off here, the Amar the Amar drone isn't really the top of any of classes between the, the four races since it doesn't have the greatest tank. I mean, the Galente have the same armor, but it has less shields than the Galente. Um, all the drones have about the same accuracy fall off, and their um, rate of fire and optimal range are all about the same. One of the nice advantages of the Amar drones here they actually have a fairly fast tracking, which means that they can actually keep hitting at high speeds. And they can also travel fairly, fairly quickly, so they can keep up with those small interceptors. And because they have a small signature radius, they're pretty nice. Um, their damage modifier is its decent, it's not the best, but it's at least somewhat formidable. The only thing you have to worry about is they are fairly flimsy. So they do get popped fairly quickly. And popped is just a nice little nomenclature for blown up, obliterated, annihilated, if you want to think of it. Next one is the Galente, the Hobgoblin 1. The Galente, the Galente drones are the heaviest hitting. They don't have the greatest, they have a really nice good high armor, a little better shield than the, um, the uh, Amar. Um, the only thing is, is that they have a slow tracking, they are very slow. I mean, in comparison to the, all the other drones, they are the slowest. A thousand meters per second slower than the Amar drones. But, they have a 1.6 damage modifier. Base modifier. That means the Galente drones will do the most damage between all the different drones. The Kaldari drone is... It's sort of in the similar class as the Amar drone. It's not really the best of anything, but it's it can be pretty, fairly formidable. I mean, it's got almost an identical shield and armor hit points, so it can at least survive dec somewhat decent hits when it comes to tanking something. Um, it has a little faster tracking and velocity than the Galente, and it's got a similar damage modifier with a bit, little slightly better tank, but it can't dish out as much, and that's the basic premise between the behind the Kaldari drones. Now, the Minmatar drones, the Warrior 1, uh, and I should probably mention that the last one was the Hor Hornet 1, if you didn't see, but the Minmatar drones, they are, they're the fastest. As you can see here, they've got 4,200 meter per second max velocity with a 2.7 rate reds per second tracking speed. That it makes it fairly fast. It can actually keep in front of guns fairly decently until it's it actually slows down because it runs out of capacitor because it uses an MWD apparently. I don't know how the why it's programmed like that. Um, they don't have the decent tanks like the up, like the Galente and Kaldari, but it has the speed, which is nice. Um, it's damage fire, it's it's a little higher than the Amar, but it's less than the Kaldari and the Galente. So, you have to understand when it comes to the different types of drones of which drone you want to use. If you want to do the heavy hitting, you choose Galente. If you want fast moving, then you go with the Minmatar. If you want something in between, something that's faster but is fairly heavy hitting, then Kaldari. Something that's um, a little better tank, then you go with the Amar, but it's fairly fast. So this is the things you have to understand when it comes to the all the different uh, the light, medium, and heavy drones. 
Uh, when it comes to sentry drones, they have a no, one secondary change that's made between them in that they have a optimal range and accuracy fall off. And I can bring those up here. So just give me a moment. So as you can see, they have an accuracy fall off and an op and a uh, oh, an optimal range. There we go. So this is the when it comes to Sentry Jones, this is a change that they have. Also, they don't move, so that's another thing you have to realize when it comes to them. So the Kaldari one, they've got 25 kilometer fall off with a 50 kilometer optimal range. And you have to understand that also the damage modifiers follow along with the drones. So the Galente will still do the most damage. 1.6, so it's the same. But their distances change. So actually fall off. And this one is 10 kilometers with a optimal range of 20 kilometers. So it's very close. That's the look at that one. There's the Kaldari one. The MR one has fall off 20 with a 35 optimal range. Almost, I, they're almost the same. <clears throat> so there's that one, and then you got the Minmatar, the bouncer, right there, with a 35 fall off and 40 optimal. Their tanks between the centuries are similar to what the light drones were, were like, and same thing with their tracking and stuff like that. So when it comes to figuring out which drones you're going to want to be using, just look through them, think about what you're going to primarily be using them for. It's a good thing to have a mix between them, so like having a having Galente drones for your damage dealing, while having you know Minmatar drones for to keep in front of guns. For, or dealing with really small, quick targets. So just have to think about that stuff when you're coming across drones. Um, when you're, if you're going to be shooting drones, it's just the same as blowing up really small ships. That's all that it really is. You just have to understand that a lot of times there's going to be more drones following them. So just keep that in mind and sort of experiment experiment with the drones. The heavy drones are really slow but they do lots of damage to really large targets. The mediums are good, nice, good in-betweens, and the smalls are good for primarily small targets, since they don't do that much great damage. So large targets, they just sort of, you know, just swap them away. Um, sentry drones don't move, so you have to understand that. Um, I have actually found out, with personal testing of mine, that the ranges of the, of the sentry drones, it's their activation range of when you can when they can actually engage a target is all dependent upon around you. They you your sentry drones can be at 250 kilometers away from the target as long as the target is within 50 kilometers of you, they can still engage the target. So that's a nice good thing to understand when it comes to them. It's not guaranteed they're going to hit at that range, but it's nice to know since they can sit far away and do lots amounts of damage. So thanks for watching and listening to this. This has been another Mercs of Vengeance Eve 101 video. Fly safe and get the kills.